Hey guys, welcome back. With this data set, we're going to do surgery classification. It's about the um, whether the patient has a complication or not. Okay, so I'm with this data set. We're going to use an Adaboost regressor. Although, feel free to use your own if you know how to go off and hypertune the parameters on your own. We're not deploying nothing this time. This time we're just uh, doing uh, data science. We're not deploying too much models. We're getting more in depth and just building a model and making improving it. Okay, so uh, the label encoder read it with pandas first. We're going to use all of these columns because they're relevant. We don't want to drop too many columns because that can create bias. Also, um, you need to hypertune the parameters whenever you have class imbalances anyways. There's not too much of a class imbalance on this data set. But uh, the, the goal of this was to work on hypertuning the parameters. Okay, so X equals complication. X equals everything but complication, my bad. Axis equals 1. Y equals the target complication. Test train split, standard scalar, and uh, import these libraries. G and B equals Adaboost classifier. Fit X train, Y train, predict X test, and just print out a 25 sample. And then um, here's our accuracy score, 88%. Okay, and then our F1 score, which is the important part. Remember, this is how you do a classification report. And uh, you can import the comp mat and also uh, visualize it in a confusion matrix with matplotlib. Remember, just like that. Okay, we want to improve the model, even though it had a 74% F1 score, which is not bad. But if we wanted to deploy something, we'd want to make it the best we can, you know? Also, this is... Um, the goal of this is to show you guys how to hypertune the parameters for an Adaboost because they're not all the same uh, parameters you can hypertune. So we're just going to do N estimators for Adaboost, which turned out to be pretty significant. Okay, so G and B are model, the parameters right there, the scoring, CV8. Verbose 2, that's so we can show everything. And jobs, although they usually the best you can do is 10 jobs without it making, a, you know, because sometimes after 10 jobs it stops losing, uh, it, it can't do any more for you. Okay. So uh, print the results. And there's the scores, and we're going to put them in Panda's data frame. Okay, as you can see, not bad, especially the, the five split score. That one seemed to do the best, too. Its ranking, though, for estimators is 30. Pretty significant. This was good enough, but why not make it better? With grid search CV. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Uh, next time, we're going to build a convolutional neural network. Then I'm either going to do BERT or I'm going to deploy another streamlit model. If you guys uh, haven't seen any of my streamlit... Um, Remember, it's on my uh, channels. It's on my channel. Uh, I got many playlists for it, for streamlit deployments, both machine learning and deep learning. One of them's natural language.